Okay, so we're going to look at the um, using Google Slides to help do spelling inventories or spelling uh, assessments for in virtual learning. So you can't really use a Google product and a typed spelling assessment because everything Google has a spell check and you can control what's on your device. So you can turn off spell check on your device. You can't control whether it's on or off on your students' devices. So Jamboard, Stock, uh, Slides, any of that. You will get the squiggle lines for spelling. So if you use slides, the easiest thing to do is to do it handwritten and then collecting that information. And the easy way to do it that has it in an organized manner is to do that in Google Slides. So I'm going to set up, oh, I have to present it. I'm going to set up a Google slide deck. And I like to start by using this little drop down arrow here and putting in one slide that has the title only or whichever, or you can put a blank one. Uh, but once you get one in, every time you hit control M after that or to add a slide, it remembers the last uh, layout that you chose and that's the one it brings in. So with the title only one, the student can put in a name and date. Now, for my little guys, the youngest ones, I've set it up so they all, all the slides were there. But I think very quickly, they're learning to, uh, they can add a slide. So just control M and they add a new slide. So you have to change to the share settings. So I changed it so anyone on the internet, so anyone with the link can edit. So it starts out in a restrictive mode and then you change it. Anyone with the link can edit, copy the link and send this in the chat. As I've done here. Here, we'll send it in the chat. So we send it into chat. So whoever gets the is on the call with you and gets the live link can go into their chat and pull up that document. Now I just have the iPad here, but I've done this with Chrome and I've done this with um, other uh, other iPads and or other devices. So it works. So uh, I'm going to do this actually on the iPad, but it works the same way. So if on the iPad, I would just hit add another slide there and have each student add a slide, put in their name. I'll just call this iPad for right now, date, whatever you're going to do. There we go. And then we want to collect the assessment. So we do the assessment spelling over uh, the, the video call and um, I ask the students to write on a whiteboard with a dry erase marker. And it doesn't have to be super neat, uh, but it, you want it fairly dark so it's visible. So we just ask the student, okay, ready? Go into your Google slide. You're gonna insert image from the camera. How easy is that? Insert image camera. So I'm hold it up to the camera and take a picture. And you then have to click, yes, use that photo. Let's watch it pop up. There we have it. So I can see all the images pop up. I can click on it, look at it. I could resize it if I want. Over and make it bigger or have the students do it. But this will allow me to collect the information in a way that is authentic. I'm giving the words, they're writing it, and then boom, you've got to take a picture. There's, you know, kids can always Google things, or there could be someone in the background you don't see who's telling them how to spell it. But in any case, it's a little more authentic. 
uh, this way as authentic as the spelling assessment can be. And works with Chrome's, works with uh, iPads, works with whatever. So it's in, and let me show it to you so you see it here on this one. Insert, image, camera, just take a picture, put it in. Okay, so if you're using Zoom and not Meet, you have to tell your students to turn off their video while they take the picture. So go to the Zoom window that you're in, turn off the video, go into your uh, uh, Google Slides and do the insert image camera. Take the picture, then you can come back to Zoom and turn the camera back on. Anyway, so if, if you have touch screen devices, you can do spelling assessments with ClassKick, with uh, Seesaw, something that allows a handwritten input. But for those students on a Chromebook, this is the easiest way I've done. Hope that helps you.